News Channel 3 exclusive investigations over the past couple of years have uncovered, uncovered, I should say, several revelations about our local law enforcement and politicians. And News Channel 3's Nathan Baca has worked these investigations. Now, Nathan has accepted a reporting position in Las Vegas starting next Monday. Right now, he's joining us with the latest developments on his local investigations he's been covering for the last few years. Well, Tamara John, it's really just sinking in that this is the last time that I will be on uh, News it. Channel 3. Live in person. <laughs> it, it, it really is just sinking in. And, and what's really important is just knowing that uh, this team is going to continue on with the investigations that uh, we've been doing here for the past few years. This is a really great team of journalists, and uh, we're going to show you now where some of these investigations stand right now. We followed him for years and nearly three decades after the so-called octopus murders of three people in Rancho Mirage, Jimmy Hughes now stands trial for the crime. He pleaded not guilty. Deputy State Attorney General Michael Murphy is trying that case right now. But we've learned now that Murphy will be taken off a related case due to a conflict of interest. It's the case against former District Attorney Investigator Candette Hammond. She's under suspicion of felony perjury. The L.A. Office of the State Attorney General will take over the case because of major complaints by the people Hammond allegedly targeted for perjury. Desert Hot Springs police is quiet since Chief Patrick Williams took over, but sources close to a long-running FBI investigation tell News Channel 3 a former police officer will face indictment for kicking a man to death while in police custody before Williams' term. Sources say a current officer on the force is also under scrutiny. Sidney Profile claims of abuse and torture within Church of Scientology. ABC's Nightline and the St. Petersburg Times newspaper launched investigations. A confidential Scientology video we uncovered claims San Diego sheriffs and fire department endorsed church methods. After we told them, San Diego County ordered Scientology to stop claiming things that aren't true. And in another new development, a protester says he'll plead guilty to hacking into a Scientology website. He could serve a year in prison. Now, I'm reminded that a great woman once said, it is our job as journalists to confront, to comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. I hope I've done that in some small part for this community. And uh, this team of reporters is just going to be continuing the job of those investigations and many more to come. So. Uh, Again, it's just kind of sinking in. This is my last time at this desk uh, joining uh, you two here. Well, well, Nathan, your investigations impacted a lot of people. What investigation really sticks out in your mind is really having impacted you personally? There was, um, uh, there's been a few, uh, namely with uh, some of the slums that we've done stories on in Beaumont, uh, and uh, also uh, a woman uh, who in 2005 in Coachella, this woman who lost her child and we were there as she was just so struck with emotion and it was hard for us as journalists to be there but uh, to try to convey that uh, to the people was what we were trying to do so exactly you've made an impact here in the Coachella Valley thank you Nathan thank you very much John thank you Nathan we'll uh, continue to follow your work <laughs> good Thanks. luck Las Vegas here <laughs> and <you> watch <laughs> out <laughs> news channel 3 at 5:30. we'll be right back you're watching the deserts news later